This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to Totally Jacob. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new show that just launched in 2022 called The Witcher from BBC or on BBC. No, The Witch Finder. What's it called? The Witch Finder. Not The Witcher. The Witcher is a different show. This is The Witch Finder on BBC, a Brit sitcom, season one. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, first and foremost. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Take Ball spelled together for extra perks. Thank you to all my patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday for my main Super Jacob channel, and then the videos get posted also here. So hi guys, everybody in the chats. Listen, I mean, I got to talk about this because I, I started watching The Witch Finder. And isn't it interesting how they call it The Witch Finder? And not the witch hunter because they want to make it sound like it's less bad what they're doing in the show and let me just tell you something so look, look it's based in 1647 it's the year 1647 and the fear of witchcraft is prevalent the willingness to scapegoat outsiders under the banner of christianity created an environment in which few are safe here witch finding has blossomed as experts achieve hero status by extracting confessions by any means necessary. A witch finder played by Tim K, K, K transports a suspected witch played by Daisy May Cooper across East Anglia to a trial that could change the trajectory of their lives. Um, the witch finder plays with the conventions of historical dramas from a comedic standpoint to great effect. First episode date, March 8th, 2022, which is literally a day or two ago from when we're filming now. Um, production company, Baby Cow Productions. Yeah, it doth feel like a cow produced this. That's for show. Because let me tell you, I started watching the show and like I'm like, oh, hold on. This is literally playing in that time where so many women were, were killed, were hung at the stake because the witch trials were going down. If men and God knows who, who else couldn't have their way with these women, they would say, oh, I can't, I can't do with you what I want. Then I'm going to point my finger at you're a witch. And then it, it went down from there. A simple, oh, I can't have you. Okay, you're going to see hell for this. You're going to pay hell for this would turn into a witch trial, and these women would be hung alive, burned at the stake. This is reality. This is dramatic. And we're making a comedy about this? Seriously? Seriously? Who on this blue planet or green planet could possibly green light something like this? Making jokes about torturing women. lying about them turning them into witches that that whole belief of the whole fakery and sorcery of it all and turning it into a sitcom and yes they also show in one scene a woman hanging from a tree dead and it's, it's a comedy it's it's a show from 2022 it's like i mean I get it, like Great Britain in many cases, like they're like, okay, you know, we're so done with political correctness. But you guys, this is really, it doesn't even have anything to do with political correctness and, and wokeness and all that, you know, stuff. Th this is just vile. And then even one of these women that is like taken to trial in the first episode, and then she's like, she doesn't even care. She's like, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I'm like, yeah. Like, okay, so, you know, you're a witch. She's like, what? You know, clean up the floor before you take me to, to the trial. You know, you threw your egg, um, you threw your egg on my floor in my house. So clean up the floor and then, you know, we could go to trial. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And this is not like a good confusion. You know, it's not like some shows make you think and make you analyze the past and make you analyze choices humanity has made. And some shows are really good at, you know, dissecting what happened in the past and making you really go through it, making you feel like you're so powerless. It makes, it makes you just want to cry. But this show is like, literally, I mean, maybe I hope that they were not actively going for 
turning something so dramatic into something laughable. I hope that they that I hope that this is just a huge mistake. Because if they purposefully want to kind of make fun of the, of that time in history and death of of all of these women and in some cases men as well, but of all of these women through witch trials and they want to make fun of this and they want to laugh at this. I, I have no words. I have no words. It's, it's so disgusting. Like Yvonne says, how could they even prove they're not witches? There's no proving they're not witches because if, if some asshole dude is standing there and you know, he can't have his way with you or he wants some money or some, or your property or whatever he wants or whatever somebody else wants and pays him to make you look like a witch. They're going to make you look like a witch there. You know, though, all of those stupid tests that they make these, that they made these poor women pass, you know, like, Oh, if you float, well, how was it, Jack, you know, better than me. Uh, if, if you float on water, then you're a witch. If, if you sink, you're not a witch, but if you sink, you die because obviously you drown. I mean, all of these ridiculous tortures, uh, Jack says, uh, no, Jill says, I can't believe this is a new show. This is a new show released in 2022. Jack says, and women who had too much power and intelligence for men to be able to control them were also, yeah, marked as witches. Um, I would never, I, I would have been burned, says Debbie. <laughs> oh my God, there's a wonderful post. And this was years ago when I still use Facebook, like Facebook is like as dead as a uh, MySpace at, at this point, but uh, here's looking at you, um, Zuckerberg. Hi, sweetie, darling. Um, now you know Facebook, whatever. But somebody said, "Oh my God, it's a beautiful post!" Many, many years ago, uh, a friend of mine actually, who's an artist, and she um, posted a photo of her, her aunt, her her grandmother, her sister, uh, her niece, like all of these generation of women, and says, "We are the generation of witches, or those women." whose female ancestors you did not manage to burn at the stake. And I was like, man, this is powerful. Oh my God. I, oh, I get goosebumps just thinking about it. And, and this is the point. And I'm like, and now you're making a joke. Of course, a British sitcom would do something like that. And now I know that a lot of people are going to be super, you know, like, I'm a gad, like get a sense of humor, get a life. Like I have a sense of humor. Trust me, I have a sense of humor. I make a lot of videos on my main channel that really lose me a ton of subscribers because I laugh about things where people are like, oh, hold on. Uh, I, I can push the bar, but there's a limit to everything. This isn't even about being, oh my God, you're just so woke, like cancel culture. This isn't even about that, you guys. This is about, think about it this way. For people who haven't studied history, um, kids, that um, their first confrontation with a situation like this is on a BBC show, okay, The Witch Finder. And a kid hasn't studied yet in school The Witch Trials. And the first time they're taught about it is through television and they see that it was all a joke. Ah, it's a laughing matter. Women are being burned at the stake. It's funny. Like it's, a, it's literally a sitcom you're watching. So you're programming also people to, to believe these things. People who don't know what really went down. People who haven't yet read history books. And it is so degrading to a level where I just, I mean, I don't even know. I have, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. How can you laugh about something like this? Rara says, this sounds crazy. Nothing funny there, says Debbie. No. Rara says, Jack and a property. Let's take that land. Um, Ron and Chatty says, yes, I really find it inappropriate. It's like watching a jokey version of Oscar Wilde going to prison unnecessarily. Right. And you know, Oscar Wilde wrote De Profundis uh, while he was in prison, uh, like a, a love letter to his father and where he kind of between the lines described all the pain and the, and the suffering that he had to go through. You guys, this is no laughing matter. This is really not funny. And to make a sitcom about witch trials and the you can, you can see the characters in the show, they're also like they don't really care that they're going to be killed. They're, it's 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 a laughing matter. And these dudes who are, you know, fighting for the position of becoming the most famous witch finder, it's almost like today's shows of, you know, um, Who's Got Talent or America's Got Talent or whatever it's called, all those stupid shows, Celebrity Big Brother, all that bullcrap that television churns out. 
it's like, what the hell is going down here, you guys? I mean, has anybody watched this? Or am I the only one? Because, I mean, it's a relatively new show. Trish says, still so many misogynists out there and there's nothing funny about it. Yvonne says, how do... um." How could they even prove they're not witches? Oh, there's no way of proving. <laughs> exactly. If accused, you die either way. Yeah, Debbie, that's the point. Tina says, I was reading it's not doing well on the ratings, Jacob. It won't last. Hoping. They wiped women out and families. History tells us that that that's gross. It's so gross. Jill says, this is disturbing considering Texas is prosecuting a woman who may have miscarried, but charging her for murder, calling it an abortion. I mean, this is also, that's that's also a form of, 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 of modern modern day witch hunting. Jack says, the tests were set up to kill them either way. Yeah, of course. Rara says, yes. Uh, the proof was they drown and die. They drown if they're innocent. And they float if if they're witches, right? Jenny says, if you can swim, a witch, float, witch, etc. Uh, Tina says, two stars. Oh, that's the... Jill says, awesome. Bon and Chari says, they are on shaky ground because we have no choice in the UK but to pay our TV license tax. Yeah, that's insane. That's insane. Jack says, at school, I think we had maybe one lesson on the witch trials, just one hour. Bon and Chari says, I'm actually glad you raised this as it is very uncomfortable for me. Jenny says, we did learn about it in school, too. Very dark. Jack says, my opinion, the church doing what it was created to do, power and control through fear and theft. Debbie says, we talked more about them, but I'm from Massachusetts. And listen, you got in, in America, you know, in the States, Salem and the Salem witch trials. I mean, it's still a huge thing. You go to Salem, you, I mean, all the Halloween celebrations, but... Uh, the entire cemetery were, were all, you know, the names of the ladies that they still know or, or know that they remembered from all the books and history that they now commemorate and write like, hey, this and this and this and this lady were killed during the witch trials. It, you guys, it, it's so many people died, mostly women, um, due to men exerting power over them and finding ways to control them and to have power over them by saying, well, let's invent the concept of witches. And so if you're a witch, you're evil and we're going to kill you. So you better do and behave. You better do what we want you to do. You better behave, be a good little girl. Otherwise, you're going to get killed. And this, turning this into a sitcom and not taking this seriously is beyond disturbing. You guys, I sat down, I was like, oh, you know, I love my horror movies. I mean, I love also pop culture. I love all sorts of movies. But I thought, oh, Witchfinder sounds interesting. Like, this is going to be a show that I might like. I did not watch um, the trailer, the teaser. I did not read any reviews, nothing. You know, I, I don't want to watch any of that when I jump into a new show. Poster and title is all I want. And then I let it surprise me, right? So there I am. I turn it on. The, the show starts and I'm like... Oh, okay, this is kind of a comedy, but there's a woman hanging. She's just been hung. She's dead, hanging off a tree. And there's this guy kind of laughing about it. And then he's like talking to another guy. And he's trying to, he can't pay for his witch finder hat. So he's trying to steal it from the guy who's selling the hat so he can. And, and, and the worst thing is he has an accomplice and she's a woman with rotting teeth. The male actor. This witch finder dude, he has perfectly white teeth. Obviously, back in those days, his teeth would have been rotten. But no, that actor has beautifully white teeth. Uh, the production team did not bother to make Mr. Actor, what's his name? Tim Key or K. So Tim Key, they didn't bother to turn his teeth rancid and ugly black. But the woman that is his accomplice, the hag... Um, that helps him find ways to make women look like witches. Yeah, he has a woman accomplice, and she never questions the fact that she's also responsible for killing. Her teeth are rotting. They made her look like a real hag, like she looked like a witch. You know what I mean? He looks like he got his teeth done in 2022. Then he jumped in a time machine, you know, to 1647 or whatever year it was. 1647 and uh, gorgeous teeth and then he has a hag working for him and her teeth are rotting okay so they were degrading again the woman and then she's helping him to hunt down other women are you freaking kidding me 
<laughs> it's like, and then he's like, and he's fine stealing this and that and manipulating the games to, you know, to, to, to become the, the famous witch finder. And, um, and then all of these women are dying. Nobody's questioning whether or not this is correct. And they're laughing about it. It's a joke. They're turning this whole terrible time in human history into a laughing matter. Who on earth could have possibly thought in their sane mind to green light this? I'm, I don't get it. KDF says, this sounds really terrible. It, this is a, just like, I no words, really. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack says, the BBC has, uh, has been caught producing and releasing things with very transphobic and misogynistic views recently, even though they are supposed to be neutral. <laughs> Listen, British television in general? <laughs> Don't you have Murdoch? Didn't Murdoch buy your entire country? Isn't Mr. Murdoch like responsible for, for all the trash television that you guys have? Your entire television is completely manipulated. Like, at this point, I have the... Politically as well. People have to resort to YouTube to try to find channels that talk about things in a different way than the highly politicized television that is going on in the UK. It is scary to a point where I'm like thinking, why doesn't anybody intervene? How can anybody intervene? They own all the media. This is insane. Like... No words, really. Jill says, uh, is is it the BBC that employs uh, Piers Morgan? It um, would explain a lot. I don't know. But Murdoch, Murdoch, it, he also, when he came, oh my God. There's this great video I just saw on Twitter. Somebody posted from 1986, or was it 1987? Um, who was it that was saying um there was an interview it was the bbc interviewing her and she was um an actress an american actress forgot her name now i just saw it yesterday and she was so cool and the interview like this is the 80s and they said oh what do you like about britain and then she said you know what um murdoch like um Actually, it was Australia because Murdoch is, comes from Australia. But then he went in, into Britain. He went into America. He bought a lot of channel Fox, anybody? Fox News, anybody? Um, and then she already in the 80s were saying to, to the Australian dude interviewing her. Sorry, not the British dude, the Australian dude. She was saying, uh, you know, you could take Murdoch back. We don't want him. <laughs> He's terrible. Terrible, terrible. He does have Yeah, sorry, Jack. He does have Fox. But... Wall Street Journal, most of British print, pre print press. Um, Trish says, same here in Australia. I hate the Murdoch media. 70% of our newspaper here is owned by Murdoch. Right. So he comes from Australia. Already in the States, people were realizing in the 80s, like, get this baboon out of here. It, and, and they also say, you know, thanks to him, stuff became possible, like, you know, Trump, for example. And that type of media... Um, that is not real reporting. It's sensationalistic reporting that got more and more traction because people watch it because it's like watching a telenovela, except it blurs the lines between fiction and reality. And that's something that Murdoch initiated. And that is something that has ruined America. <laughs> it is ruining the UK. It's definitely ruining Australia. If you got, what did you write, Trish? How, how much did you say? 90%? 80%? How much did you say, Trish, was of television? 70% of our newspapers here are owned by Murdoch. You guys, nothing comes good out of that. Nothing good comes out of that. So, okay, let's go back to retract. Uh, he does not own the BBC, but Murdoch doesn't own the BBC, but he does have Fox, HarperCollins, Wall Street Journal, uh, most of British print press. Tina says he owns the media. Hate it. Um, Trish says to Jack, um, Piers is still working for Murdoch. Here uh, was uh, here. He was here in Australia lately and flew on a Murdoch private jet. Ariel says you have to be really depraved to watch Fox. Uh, watch Succession to get an idea. Debbie says early 80s. He was known as Trouble. <laughs> Still is. Ariel says or watch five minutes of Tucker Carlson and you will vomit. Tucker Carlson is a direct product of Murdoch. You guys. 
just, it, anyway. He's very good at hiding in the shadows. People barely talk about him anymore. Yeah, Jack, he's clever. But, I mean, we see right through this. So, Sylvie says, there, there's an exactly a, um, Sky Channel Corporation, says Caroline. It's insane. Anyway. Wouldn't be surprised if he had something to do with this project as well. Somehow. Like you said, Jack, hiding in the shadows. Who knows? Allegedly. Everything in this video has been alleged for entertainment purposes only. Mr. Murdoch knows what that means. I mean, all of his news are for entertainment purposes only too. So it's just my opinion, just me me meant and made to entertain you guys. So none of this is reality. It's all fiction. I'm just the clown entertaining. So allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Um... Oh, Murdoch is close to Putin as well, says Jill. Well, there you have it. Isn't that interesting? Uh, Sylvie says, there's a U.S. immigration law that gives citizenship for people who have, I think, over a million dollars and who can employ five people. I believe he got U.S. citizenship that way. <laughs> That's easy, right? I don't know about this law, by the way. Trish says, Murdoch is no longer an Australian. He's naturalized American and a foreigner who is meddling with Australian politics. Oh, honey, he's been meddling with politics in many countries brainwashing everyone and a rise of the far right yes and these people accepted to act in this show daisy may cooper the suspected witch daniel rigby hebby jessica hines the old myers uh reese shearsmith matthew hopkins who other rosie cavaliero as mrs jennings to wayne barrett as cumber cumberledge i mean you guys whatever i just No words. This is the world we live in. This is 2022. Can you believe? Like, can you believe? I can't. And don't come for me in the comments and be like, oh, you know, like there's more important things to talk about, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there is more important things to talk about. Go and talk about them. Here we're talking about this now. And this, this, this is a, this is important to raise awareness about. It's going to be just one of a billion videos on YouTube that just, a, you know, a handful of people are going to watch, but at least there's an honest need that we are showing and sharing here, something's got to change, you guys. Awareness needs to be raised. I can't. Yeah. Thanks, Jill. It is important. Like... <sighs> mm -mm. Ariel says, yes, he's naturalized American so that he was able to own both Fox and the New York Post. It was illegal for a non-American to own both. You see? Oh, let's just change something. And then, you know, let's just find a loophole and make it work for us anyway. Uh, Trish, thank you for becoming a member. <laughs> thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Um, no, St Star Medicine, thank you for this advocacy. I mean, what, what can we do? It's not like, you know, you best believe. It's not like we have this, you know, television broadcast station where we can, like, talk about this openly and just, like, raise awareness about this it's, it's hard how are you going to raise awareness about something like this one you know you got you know let's see how many videos this view gets but it is what it is <sighs> i had to get it off my chest it's been years that i haven't seen a show this despicable and this sort of make you know it's literally you know how it feels like if we translate it into youtube world it's like when um what's that oompa loompa's name Jake Paul or his brother, well, one of the two fruit flies, when they went to uh, Japan to the suicide uh, forest and filmed, allegedly, people, you know, hanging, killed themselves in the forest and laughed about it and kind of like, oh, oh my God, look, there's a person. They got canceled for a hot minute. Now they're back again, more popular than ever. And it was a huge scandal when that happened. When that came out, like, the lack of empathy and making fun of other human beings' tragedies like that. That's exactly what's happening in The Witch Finder. Literally the same freaking thing, except it's not just some dumb, egotistical YouTuber who's shooting a video. He's like, oh my god, you guys, there's somebody who committed suicide hanging behind me. Let's film it. Dope, dude. Let's take a selfie. It's like not just that dumb. This is literally a whole production house, a whole production team, investors, big money, thing, writer room. Writers have been put together to write this show. Like thought went into this 
and they greenlit it. But it's not any better than the Paul, one of the two Pauls, doing the suicide forest video. You guys, I can't. I can't. Just come on. You go, what are we talking about here? Let, let's be honest for a second. Like, you know. Mm -mm. Trish says, I'm so glad you're covering this topic. Fashion is fun, but great to raise awareness to these serious topics. Oh, always. You know I'm here. <laughs> Jill says, thanks for using your platform for this issue. Sylvie says, thank you for making uh, my spring cleaning more tolerable. <laughs> Good night. You're welcome, sweetie. The bro channels are the word. Right, Ariel? Oh, my God. Yo, 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 the bro channels, you know? And they're like, oh, my God. It just goes to a point where it's like, oh. listen, it's not like I got something against testosterone. I don't have anything against testosterone. I don't have anything against progesterone, estrogen. All fine. But, like, have some decency. Have some sense of moral. Just don't laugh about these things. Another human's misery should never be a fountain of your success. Another human's misery and trials and tribulations and sorrows and pain should never be used by other people to profit off of. Bottom line. Bottom line. Where's the moral? Where's the moral? I, come on. You guys. Yeah, I can't. Anyway, rant over, make of it what you want. People are going to think what they want anyway. It's like nowadays it's impossible. Like you can even show facts to people and say like two plus two equals four. You're going to have that Oompa Loompa in the back row who's going to be the loudest to yell back at you. You can't prove it, dude. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. Never forget to never give up on love. Bye.